Welcome, and thank you all for being here today to witness the joining of two exceptionally special people, Denise and Jason, in the wonderful union of marriage. You know me better than anyone in this world, and somehow you still manage to love me through all that. You're my best friend, my partner in crime, and the loving mother to the furry creatures that you slyly continue to slide into our family. From the moment that I noticed you noticing me, and put you on notice that I noticed you too. I knew we'd end up here someday, and there's still a part of me today that cannot believe that I'm the one who gets to marry you. You know, what can I say? You're an easy person to love. I admire your compassion and caring to show complete strangers every day in your job. You're fun-loving, you have a huge heart, you have an amazing sense of humor, you tolerate my sense of humor and put up with my shenanigans and questionable fashion choices. And there is definitely a special place in heaven for people like you. I love that your first instinct is always to see the best in people and to be trusting, even if that means that our lives are in danger because you believe that stop signs with white around the edge are optional until we go up to them and like, oh, is this one of the optional ones? No, 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 no. I vow right now I will never tell you anything like that again. To find someone as special as you and all the people in the world is something that I never imagined. You're forever my best friend and one true love. Marrying you today makes me a lucky, lucky man. And this privilege is one that I promise to never forget. I promise to always hold you in the highest regard and love you as much as I love spaghetti. But like the good kind of spaghetti, not that cruddy, like uh, plant-based stuff that you keep trying to get me to eat instead. Like not that, like real spaghetti. I promise to be the voice of reason when you think you need not one horse, but two and a herd of tiny goats. I say that's not practical. We should not do that. I promise to always listen to your advice and sometimes take it. I promise to never keep score even when I'm winning. I promise to always admire your huge, strong, kind, and determined heart. I promise I will always love you. I promise to make you endlessly happy, to make you laugh, and always come through for you. I promise to always treat you like the Khaleesi you are, even when you tell the dogs that you cars me on a daily basis. I promise you all of these things for eternity, because as you have told me over and over, till death do us part is for quitters. Jason, you are the love of my life, my best friend, and I'm so excited to be here with you. Although our journey leading here today included a total of 17 years, <laughs> there was a part of that 18-year-old girl who always knew we'd be here one day. When thinking about writing my vows, I realized that a benefit of a long relationship is that we have already put into practice a lot of the vows people traditionally stand before one another and promise. As an example, uh, vowing to be your wife for richer or for poorer. We've been blessed with the opportunities to travel to eight countries together, become lord and ladies of Scotland, and rule as king and queen of Westeros in our game. In sickness and in health, we've been through a pandemic together and still wake up smiling and loving one another after both working from home for two years. So today, I vow to continue doing all of those things. I also vow to continue loving you every day, to support you in your interests, hobbies, and professional endeavors, to always be faithful, be honest, and to be your best friend. Today and forever, I promise to grow together and be by your side as your wife in our next chapter. I love you. There's always a million reasons To hide your heart inside All the walls you've built for keeping me outside You always were the one to be strong But it's time to put down your guard You don't gotta make this so hard And maybe all you ever thought you wanted was all just leading you to make the choice To tell me I'm the one, tell me I'm loved Tell me you're all so certain Take a deep breath, you've been coming undone Searching for someone Tell me it's real, tell me it's fake This is the curtain call My life has begun, so tell me you're done Searching for someone Jason, do you take Denise to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Denise, do you take Jason to be your lawfully wedded husband? 
Do you promise to love and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him for so long as you both shall live? Thank you. The curtain call, a life is begun, so tell me you're done, searching for someone. In the presence of this good company, by the power of your love and the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to introduce for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hennings. In 2005, Denise <laughs> had just met Jason. They had been on maybe three dates, and we went to Cold Stone Creamery. Jason was not there, I paid. And they had one of those donation things going on where you like take a name and you sign your name on it for a dollar and your name goes up on the wall. And Denise, with a little bit of encouragement from me, signed Denise Headings, and that went up on the wall in Cold Stone Creamery in Uptown Oxford. <laughs> 17 years ago. <laughs> so 17 years, and now we are here. I love you guys so much. I hope that for the rest of your lives you celebrate each, each other's successes, more in each other's failures together, and that you stick through each, with each other through struggles, and that you embrace each other as you change throughout life and grow as individuals as well as a couple. And I love you so much. We're here because you guys were meant for each other, and that's all that matters. And I've known, like I said, I've known you for 20 years, I've known Denise for pretty close, I mean, 17, 18 years, and uh, so I've known you guys the entire time you've been together, and you guys are, you're good together, you belong together, and I'm happy for you guys, and like I said, you've been a great friend, and I know like you've been good to him, you've been supportive to him, and that's all I care about, and you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna be, you know, great going forward. Want to thank everybody so much for coming down here we know it's not the easiest thing in the world thank you all very very much for being here we truly love each and every one of you and consider you friends family love you being here so thank you very very much oh,